Ephesians chapter 4, starting with verse 7, says this, But to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. That is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave some to be apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith, in the knowledge of the Son, becoming mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Unity. What does it take for us to have unity? What it takes for us to have unity is each one of us using the special and unique giftedness of who we are. This week, our theme is unity. In the passage we read, we see that unity comes through faith, too. Grace has been given to us, and that grace is expressed in a gift. And that gift is not only salvation. That gift is also the, the talents and abilities, the experiences and the personality that God has given to us. So this week, think about those unique gifts of God's grace that he has given to you in who he has created you to be. But then when we see that we use those gifts for the benefit of one another, it's in using our gifts together that we start to see unity. It is he who gives us unity in faith. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you Sunday.